Hi, Tim from Total Lockout. Uh, I want to share with you today another little design and product development project we've just completed. Um, some of you who see these videos I do on LinkedIn will have seen a previous video uh, for another uh, circuit breaker lockout device. Our challenge this time is one of these. This is a, an Allen Bradley product. It's uh, partially dissembled here because uh, I had to take it apart for the purposes of this uh, this design project. This is actually a fuse holder. Uh, the toggle here, when you pull the toggle down, reveals this little slot pocket where you put a fuse in. And then when you close the toggle, that completes the circuit and makes the circuit live. Uh, so customers looking for a locking device for this. Um, we had a look around on the market to see what was available by way initially of an aftermarket product from one of the uh, well-known manufacturers. Uh, nothing available. Um, we also had a look at the Allen Bradley site to see if they've got any accessories that they offer for this and again nothing available. So um, we embarked on a little design and development project to produce a locking device for this. Uh, the conventional way of locking this style of toggle is with a device that fits around uh, the lever element here to prevent you pushing the lever again and closing it. So uh, we've got quite a complex profile here to, uh, to recreate. Um, We've got at our disposal a laser cutting device and having plotted the, the profile out on CAD, we cut out these little profiles. Uh, we gl uh, glued three of them together, uh, so four of them together actually, just to try and uh, create the, the, the feeling of width and substance that we need for this device. And you can see here how it, it just slides onto the toggle there. And in, once in place, it does prevent you uh, pushing the, the toggle closed, closing the, the latch door, as it were, on the on the fuse holder. So um, the next element of the design was introduce a method whereby you could actually grip it on. So the conventional uh, method is um, putting in a hole here, a threaded hole with a with a grub screw that just tightens up and pinches onto the onto the toggle there, um, and so. We first went to 3D print and then produced this this version of the design. You can see it's got the hole here where the grub screw would go. Hole here also for the padlock. That fits on quite nicely. Uh, grub screw is not currently in there, but when you pinch that up with a screwdriver, that grips on there. Padlock through, job's good. So we showed this to the client. They seemed pretty happy with it, but the request was made. Um, we'd like to be able to secure it without the need for tools. So we introduced a thumb screw, a thumb screw here. And so we went to the next stage of a prototype uh, with this version here. It's got a slightly longer profile here to accommodate the space of the, the thumb screw. Um, we then encountered a little snag which we hadn't foreseen. When you put the padlock through, it was struggling to go around the bend and you can see as I'm as I'm turning that the shackle there it's just pinching the jaws up here so uh, that meant just another little iteration of the design and we've finally finished with this production model here you can see we've narrowed this section here down we've got the thumb screw in place the device fits on the breaker quite nicely on the fuse holder quite nicely when you pinch up the uh, the thumb screw to such a point where eventually that will that'll hinge out the way there and that gives you access to the padlock hole you can see now there, there's no there's no pinching going on there and so there you have it that's, uh, that's a finished product now so we use um, a 3D print process called uh, sintering it's a sintered nylon material and what that does, it gives you a super high density, high resolution print. Um, and it actually gives you um, a viable production product. 
Um, and so for relatively short batch uh, run, up to arguably a few hundred, it, it's a quite a viable and cost effective way of producing it. If demand for this product increases, so we currently got an order from the client that we developed this from uh, for 100 pieces. If we see regular uh, numbers uh, starting to escalate, we get demand in the wider market, then for sure this then becomes a plastic injection molded uh, manufacturing product. But for now, there we have it. Uh, this will be appearing on the totallockout.com and totallockoutusa.com websites for general sale. Thanks for watching.